This is Hiroja Shai with Satoshi's Treasure Hunters, and this is your weekly update. So, huzzah! The uh, ASAP key has been solved. Uh, it was actually solved rather quickly compared to the uh, Earth key and the Bun key not being um, solved, or the fact with the Hunted key only part of that key has been solved, and kind of back I guess you could say at a nice quick pace but the site itself has not in fact uh, updated to indicate that it's been solved or found even though a key has been found so it's making some people wonder if there is more to the key itself if there's um, perhaps another key attached to the ASAP key but so far, there has been a reveal that there, um, and we'll walk through it, of a key, if you will. But before we get into all that, uh, let's some, do some game update uh, about the game itself. So, <clears throat> so uh, one thing is I've been listing that the Telegram channel that I've been going to as being the official channel for the Satoshi Treasure Hunter uh, or not Satoshi Hunter, Treasure Hunter, but the Satoshi Treasure game uh, is actually not considered the official channel. It's just unofficial, even though a number of the game makers have been made admins. I guess they don't consider that to be in an official channel. But a lot of information has been publicly dispensed and solutions and solving and people working together has been going through that channel. And it seems to be uh, one of the main uh, channel hubs. There's also, um, and I still have the link in the show notes, there's also a link to WeChat to where people can, uh, through WeChat, uh, work together. Uh, another way for the game makers to kind of branch out and make this game as uh, globally possible, uh, globally as possible. And I imagine some more social hubs will be um, unveiled or revealed or uh, given the uh, thumbs up by the game makers as uh, the game progresses. But one of the big reveals was the fact that the the order of the keys. So. <clears throat> the first three keys, um, as I have here, and it's something I am building a Google Drive document that uh, keeps track of the keys, uh, the web page that the key is on, and the passphrase to uh, unlock it, as well as the key itself. Um, I should have it finished in the show notes um, by the time this video is uploaded. But uh, the J key, the Bismarck key, and the, Mor the Moral key are 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, the Lapon key, the Rabbit key, is number 4. The Hunter key, which um, you had the other two field agents' keys go back to the vault. Uh, the Hunter key is the 5th key. And then you have two additional keys that are not listed as um, keys on the site but have been talked about through their public channels, which is the art, art tour key. That's the key to, that was the exhibit that was taking place in New York uh, May 11th through the 13th or the 12th of that weekend. Um, I will have a link to, in the show notes to that as well. The Bishop Shore uh, human exhibit where you could visit the actual exhibit if you were in New York. Uh, to obtain information to obtain a key or somehow through the website people are now upon the revelation that there's actually a key associated uh, with the art tour key are uh, trying to go through the site or try to garner some information uh, then there's the business key uh, the business key is of course those business cards which there are 10 of and you're supposed to collect all 10 to then uh, from there, build the clue to find the key for that particular key. And that one has been more publicly aware of um, as far as the, two, the revelation to these two keys. Uh, it's just, again, it's just not listed at the site. So the art tour key is considered key six, and then the business key is considered key seven. So there's a little confusion on the, that fact that the game makers have not placed these keys on the site itself. Plus, the fact that the hunt key um, released through their public communications indicated that there was three keys attached to that. 
So there's now a total of uh, 13 keys out in the wild, or 12 keys, I should say. Uh, so they, like I said, there's a little bit of communication or not enough clarity on the part of the game makers. Uh, so the business key is number seven, so that makes the earth key number eight, and then the ASAP key, uh, when we go through the solution, uh, is number nine, and then the Yabon key is actually key number 10. And the Earth key, the Yabon key, the business key, and the Art Tour key are keys that are still out in the wild and as of this recording, not been solved. Uh, with the Ace Up key revealing um, all key, uh, hasn't been indicated on the, the official site that it's been solved yet. So we don't know if there's delay on the part of the game makers for updating the site or the fact that there might be another key associated with the ASAP key, much like the hunted key. So that's kind of some official um, information there from the game makers revealed in the unofficial uh, telegram channel um, by Jesse Wan, one of the game makers, the order of the keys and what is out there. So on to the solution for the ASAP key. Um, a little I wouldn't say disappointed, but yeah, yeah, I'll say disappointed that there hasn't been another key dropped as a recording of this um, this show. Um, maybe there is more keys associated with the ASAP key, but again, it, it would be nice that there, there's more keys out there, even though there's not everything is being solved, just so people can feel some progression towards the game. Uh, the other disappointment is there needs to be some clarity on the part of the game makers. I know they're on Twitter and they do communicate and respond to people, but I think they really need to, not a come to Jesus moment, but they really need to have maybe one or two designated people that communicate directly. I know Eric is supposed to be that, but just be on it. This is their full-time job. This is... They got to be like Wendy's. They got to have that social media person that is up 24-7 or their team. And this is all they do. They don't have a side hustle. They don't have a regular job. This is their job. Their job is to convey and communicate to the hunters. Uh, the other one is updating the site. When there is a solution to the key, it's not so immediate, but pretty within a time frame uh, found. Uh, they need to indicate, you know, if there's one or two or three keys associated with the key so people have a kind of an understanding what it is that they're looking for and keep going further. Um, they need to get the tools out. They really need to get these tools out that they keep saying to verify the solution for keys so people know that they have a valid key. Uh, any kind of like cryptography tool that they are utilizing uh, it would be nice if they have like some kind of a list of designated tools that are out there uh, particularly when people are searching and trying to use particularly the stenography programs a lot of them have not been updated since like 2012 or 2014 and here we are in 2019 different OS's uh, some get uh, repos are you know not available uh, it would be nice to have some like kind of clear up-to-date tools that people can kind of go to or pick up uh, what was the other thing I was thinking of tools ah the Bitcoin address it needs to be released at this point it kind of needs to be released so that people have an understanding that yes there is a valid address uh, with Bitcoin in it, and this is the prize amount. And if you are able to get those, you know, those private keys, all uh, 400 of the, the keys together to be able to form the private key for the Bitcoin address, you're the winner. There needs to be a little bit of reassurance. I think some of the missteps. And they're tiny missteps, but when you have misstep, 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 even how more tiny, tiny they are, they, it kind of builds up to annoyance. It's almost like, you know, sand or a rock in your shoe, and it, it gets annoying. 
um, that you have to constantly like pull out the sand out of your shoe or dig that stone out to keep on going. It's, it, it gets a bit cumbersome and bothersome. Um, I think it's significantly killed the momentum as far as the public channels go. Maybe the private groups are still going at it for people to participate in the, in the game with as, as much enthusiasm as they did with the, I would say, the first five keys. Uh, what else? Um, <clears throat> hmm. I think that's it as far as my commentary on the game makers and the progression of the hunt so far. So the Aesop key it was called an ambiguous story and it was a reference to the tortoise and the hare. It's pictured here uh, when we talked about the update video by the um, Otto Van when uh, created this original, if you would say, um, portrait, if you will. There was also uh, some information here that people were looking at. It proved to be, it appears to be dead ends so far, but maybe not so, considering once again the key itself hasn't been declared found. Now, right along here, along the borders, um, as we discussed in the, the Clue Day video, uh, is clearly a code, and this code is associated with Peter Salvelli's code. Um, reading from fandom here. So New Order is a band from the 80s. Uh, it's part of the New Wave movement. I think they did a movie about it a few years back. Uh, very popular. King uh, wasn't a big New Order fan. Um, was, you know, in the vein of the Smiths and the cure of that time period. Very melodic. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, both real drums and, and, and um, synth music, beat music, dance music. You, when you listen to the, the New Order itself, you can hear their influence on music even today, if you will. Um, so Peter Saibali, uh invented a color code and had it imprinted on the four color sleeves he designed uh, for Power, Corruption, and Lies, uh, Blue Monday, and, Conf and Confession. All by New Order, um, from hip, the hip by section 25. Uh, how do you use it? You look at the picture on the right, and now look at the sleeve of Power, Corruption, and Lies, and I'll show you that sleeve. And the first picture in the gallery. Now work down the album reading the color code, which is imprinted on the side. The first color is pink F, the second green A, the third light purple C, the fourth white slash yellow T. There's no such color code as purple blue, that's light blue, not gray. And then they are actually two numbers seven and five. This spells fact seven five. Uh, CD versions of PCL and the white yellow letters replaced with orange for uh, fact uh, seventy five. And here are some more coded messages. So the inner sleeve would spell the 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 album Pro Power Corruption Lies New Order. Uh, Blue Monday twelve inch. That's when you know the singles were you know released on record albums. Um, Blue Monday and the Beach New Order. And uh, Confession's Fact 93. So he created this code as a fun thing to associate with the band and the album. And if you look at the album artwork, this is what would appear on the album. And if you look at the album itself, it has the color code right here in the corner with the album picture up front. So it's just kind of like a nice little pop culture reference, if you will. Uh, associated with the clue and even um, when we get to the key there is still some new order stuff associated with it and so if you were either a new order fan or you are aware of this code it kind of like boom you were able to figure out uh, what was needed to uh, decode the border and figure out what the the sequence it was for uh, obtaining um, and decoding for the clue. And just a quick note, um, if you've never heard of New Order before or it's been a while, I have a link in the show notes to a YouTube channel that has the Power, Corruption, and Live, Lies um, album as well as the single um, Blue Monday is linked in the show notes.
So what you end up happening is you would discover uh, a word phrase that was clue, K-L-U-E, to key at gmail.com. So obviously an email address. So you would fire up your email, whichever email you're utilizing, and send, send something to that email address. Well, what you end up getting back was as you can see here, a mail domain, a mail delivery subsystem indicating that there was a failure. So in a way it kind of tricks you because people are kind of used to email failures. You know, you might have typed something wrong and even though the email went, you get a bounce back that says, oh, wrong email or it's not going through. So for the most part, people are thinking, ah, it's a, a false thing, maybe I decoded it wrong, and people ended up coming with different potential, different uh, word phrases for the Gmail account and started sending emails that way. Uh, but that wasn't the case. You had to kind of take a breath, if you will, and just kind of read what you were getting uh, because it, it did bounce back pretty quickly to where it wasn't really necessarily like a email failure even though it kind of looks like it and it didn't necessarily depending on your email system might not have had all the appropriate mannerisms or looks to be a failed email so those who took the pause and, and actually read the email that was bounced back to them it says this so mail delivery subsystem Technical details of a permanent failure. Google tried to deliver your message, but it was rejected by the server for the recipient uh, domain, Gmail, uh, and then Gmail stamp, and then has these numbers, 54-125-333-27. The error that the other server returned was 55-5.3.2. Check receipts, email address for typos or unnecessary spaces. So people are like, oh, and then 5550537 response speed response speed of recipient server is too fast or recipient server is inactive. So it's a weird phrasing here if you're I guess you could say neck deep in emails or constantly emailing all the time so you kind of know right off the bat maybe this does not compute. And then it goes to the original message and if you start looking down, like RSA, SHA, uh, it has this BH here, this component. And so it just kind of looks off. And so people started looking at this and realizing that it's trying to tell us something. It's trying to convey another clue. And what that clue was is that you had to take this part of the message, BHE equals this, and you had to use um, like base 64 to decode it, and it would give you an email, not an email, a, a web address, which was the address for the key. So I will link into the show notes to the direct uh, web address. So you get to the, the, the page, into the passphrase, which has, I believe that's where we are with the earth key, where we're trying to figure out what the passphrase, oh no, not the earth key, the Ubuntu key is where the, we're at for the passphrase. The earth key, I don't believe anyone has even gotten to this part of unlocking the key. And of course with the business key, and we don't have all the parts for that, and the art tour key, it's kind of up in the air for that solution. So what is the passphrase? Some people went back to the picture, others went back to the email. And if you went back to the email, so you had to go back to the email and the phrase, response speed of recipient server is too fast or recipient server is inactive. And if you take it in the context of the fact that we're looking at the tortoise and the hare and that kind of makes sense as far as the context to that story about response, about speed, being too fast, trying to do things a kind of a shortcut way, if you will. 
Um, so this ended up being the passphrase. So, you know, copy it with all the spaces and one capital exactly as it is. So you copy it, you input it, the passphrase into the decryptor, and wham, bam, thank your mama, you have the key. And then down below here, um, those who became before me lived through the vocation. The nice little narrative phrases that some of these keys have. Uh, look through the locations from the past until completion. They'll turn away no more. Uh, which I believe, um, and I have a link to the, in the show notes to the different individuals given credit for finding um, these different clues. Uh, this here <coughs> is a lyric from um, New Order, in particular the, the Blue Monday song. So that is where we're at for the Aesop key. Again, it hasn't been declared found, so there may in fact be um, more out there, if you will. Or it just, they haven't updated the site. We're in a little bit of an impasse, if you will. So that is it. Um, just to kind of give a quick, quick uh, TLRD, if you will. Uh, the bond key, the earth key, the business card key, and the uh, art tour key are still out in the wild. The ASAP key, we do have a key for that. Uh, a solution has been found, but it hasn't been declared by the game makers to have been found. Um, that's it. Um, again, everything I spoke about on the... The episode is uh, in the show notes. If another clue is released or uh, there's any significant updates, I will do a video. But until then, um, finishing up my video for the uh, text game and then the PGP, uh, importance of the PGP uh, f as far as the context to the, to the hunt itself. So thank you very much for listening. This is Hiroja Shive. This is Satoshi's Treasure Hunters. And to the hunt.